Okay, Kevin Green was very limited today. Individual with an ankle. Uh, Josh Shaw had an issue this morning with his back, so he wasn't able to go. Uh, Nate Gertler has a hamstring, so he couldn't go. Jesse Scroggins, hip, re-aggravated his hip, so he was not able to go. Robert Woods did very little with his ankle. And out for spring, uh, most likely, are Torin Harris, Christian Hayward, John Katnick, Kyle Negretti, Christian Thomas, Chad Wheeler, Devontae Wilson. And during practice, Xavier Grimble and Junior Palme came out and did not return. Uh, thoughts from the first day, I thought there were some really good things. You know, just thinking back to two years ago, being on the same field, I think we've come a long ways as you look around at, at, at our players, the way they look and how they run. And so I think it's a head credit, obviously, to our assistant coach and recruiting, but a lot to our strength staff. I think that our guys look, look really good. Obviously, we have some depth concerns in a number of spots. And um, as far as, you know, the MVP of the day probably was George Farmer. Really, you know, to see him healthy out here in the way that caught the ball today and his confidence is, is very different than the past time we were So obviously that was great to see. You know it doesn't change the way you prepare, but just not having that dark cloud hanging over you guys anymore, knowing that these guys are preparing for something bigger than they've been able to play for in the last two years. I think it's refreshing really to our fans, you know, and to our players, but it doesn't change anything that we do. You know, we're not all of a sudden prepare any different and you know, coach our players any different or get ready for opponents any different. Do the same thing that we've been doing. Would you feel it was a different feeling this year, though? It was a song of blasting the speakers. I get a good feeling. It seemed representative of how the players are feeling today. Well, I don't know that that's necessarily the whole thing. I think that's just in general. I think they feel good about themselves. They feel confident because they came off with the beginning of the season very well. And a number of the returners were significant players, you know, some all Americans. So uh, that, that's very difficult for them. Especially two years before that. So I just think in general they have a good feeling about themselves. They have a good feeling about themselves. They have a good feeling about themselves. What's the uh, what's kind of your strategy with Robert Woods and you trying to figure out how to slow down? Because there's no, you know, there's no, you don't want to push it and have a reaction. Yeah, I, you know, with Robert, we definitely want to go slow. We know a lot about Robert. We know who he is. We know how he is as a player. We've played him in all three of our receiver spots and in the backfield. So, very rare to have only had a guy really for a year and a half, basically, and him to have done so much. So probably more than one out of on our team outside of maybe Matt. Um, you know, he would need to be out there, so we'll go very slow. I actually thought he would practice today, kind of like last week, kind of late week, set back a little bit, so we're just very safe. Probably could have done some stuff today. Did you get a sense that, you get a sense that George is going to try to prove himself? I do. I thought that George was very confident. I thought that he, he looks great. He's healthy, he looks strong, he's going after the ball, and I think that gift comes from, you know, his confidence. A lot of times, like we talked about last year, that's the norm with all players, even when they're five-star players. You know, the norm is not Marquis Lee and Robert Woods. You know, those, are, those are rare you know, situations. We talk about every year there's about five significant impact true freshmen around the country. And so normally they take a little bit of time to adjust, like Jordan, especially if they're not making it. What did you think uh, uh, how Matt performed today? I thought, you know, it's pretty easy for Matt, obviously. You know, you can't install a million plays in day one with other kids. So um, Matt was fine. Just looks like where he left off. And um, it was not very challenging right now. To him, he kept, he gets a little bit bored. But what was good, you didn't see him force a million balls. You know, I thought at the beginning of last fall camp, he got a little bored. And a few of those practices, we talked about he had some interceptions going. And so it was good to see he didn't do much of that today. Yeah, I thought Max and Cody did the ball really well. You know, now they look like they're getting for I think they're both going to be really good players. How'd you, your, new, uh, your new assistants, how'd you, uh, how'd you write them today, their first practice? Yeah, I thought they did really well. They're really good teachers.
we were fully healthy both of those guys. Since guys yeah. itching a little bit to get out there, it's been a while since you guys practiced, no bowl game practices or anything. It's been a long time since you guys have been on the field. Yeah, I think they were. I think they were, they were kind of they had gone through such a long off season with the team. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of be out here with coaches and guys. Yeah. I think they were really excited. What do you know about Buck Allen at the possible running back? Yeah, Buck had an injury in high school. Team Martin, um, how, how do you think that thing worked out today with them working with the receivers? No, I think he brings in some credibility with the guys. Yeah, right. I think they really, yeah. like, he's very easy to get along with. And so I think that you know, the guys really like being around him. I think they feel themselves getting better already. Is Townsend a guy who can play inside long term? Yeah, I think they're probably the most you know, I mean, these guys, they're, they're going to grow so much. You know, they forget that they're always going to grow. Game has changed. You're not going to deal with a bunch of ISOs and powers. You've got the formations. Everything's so spread out. Yeah, down. Really bad jump. I think you're going to continue to see that. The, the big guy in the D line in this conference is going to be a good position. Brooks is a smaller guy, but he's a little Yeah, yeah. But we saw him as he was, he had such great effort in our camps and we watched his film. He doesn't fit the profile of the C guy. So you see the height, weight, speed of him. But sometimes those guys, you know, they, they go beyond that. We're hoping, we're hoping that he can be like the Arizona State. You know, that's left in for them. You know, that was very small thing out. And we made a mistake and actually didn't recruit him based off of his size. How much did you guys discuss the, the article that you, during the hiring process, the article that you wrote about when you got to the scene? Oh, T? Yeah. No, I, didn't, I actually didn't even know that. He brought it up. Oh. I didn't even know about it. And he brought it up in the interview. And he kind of said something joking. Pretty much under bygones, bygones. Yeah, and I don't think I think he was. He explained it. Um, you know, when you really go back and reread, I don't think it was very negative. And I think you have to understand, and that's so it's going to do do him no benefit um, to say good things about someone who just left there. All right, thank you. All right.